Hi, welcome to the Linux DNS Server Configuration course. This is the fourth video of this series. Today we will install and configure a caching only DNS. A DNS server is called caching only when it doesn't contain any zone declaration. It will serve the name resolution only. No zone will be configured here. Normally caching only DNS used for faster name resolution on local site. We will check how caching only DNS works. We will test caching feature and how it forwards the DNS query to upper level server. These are the steps we are going to follow on this video. First, we are uh, going to install bind package for DNS installation. We will configure the DNS server by editing the namely.conf. We will allow the local network to query the server. Then we will configure a Windows 10 client PC. Then we will test name resolution. We will test the caching feature of the DNS. And finally, we will test a query forwarding to upper level servers. So let's get started. Here we have uh, logged into the system. Now our system hostname is caching. Okay. And we have internet connectivity. Now first we should do an EM update. I'm not doing it now because I have already updated the system. Now let's install the bind package. Bind package installation done. Let's go to the configuration. Here you need to set the listen on port 53 and we need to specify our server IP address. Allow query should be the local subnet. Now that's it. We do not need to change any other settings here. Now let's save it and restart name the daemon. It's listening on the TCP port 53 and also on the UDP port 53. So our caching only DNS server is up. Now, if we check, it is a resolve. Currently, the server is doing its name resolution by querying the public internet's name server. We need to change this one. We need to put its IP address as the DNS server so that the host utility can query itself. Now if we check with the host anything we can resolve by querying this server host minus a google.com yes it can resolve the google's information if we query yahoo.com it can query all the servers of yahoo.com so the dns server is working just fine because our host utility is querying the local DNS server. And if you want to prove it, let's stop the local name server. Now, if we run the host again, trying yahoo.com, it should not result because the named server is down. On the etc resolve.conf we mentioned that uh, the host utility or any dns uh, query should be uh, communicated with the local dns server so connection timeout no service to be reached now if we start the 
name the daemon again and if you run yahoo.com again yes it can query so our dns name resolution actually going through the caching only dns server so the dns testing from the server itself is done now let's open a windows terminal and we will test the name resolution from the windows client pc here on the client pc as the preferred dns server we set the caching only dns ip 0 0.15 okay now let's ping google.com yes if we ping yahoo.com it can resolve abc.com okay ping cnn.com all the name it can resolve very easily now we can check also by shutting down the server again now if we ping bbc.com now it cannot communicate it cannot resolve the name because the service is down now let's start the server yes and bbc.com also it can query the bbc.com so our uh, caching only dns is working just fine now let's check the uh, caching feature of the caching only dns to check the caching behavior we can use dig let's say google.com you can see the query time 435 millisecond this is the first request if we hit the same query again now you can see query time 0 millisecond this is the behavior of dns caching first when we send any request to the dns server dns server retrieves the uh, data from the internet then it caches the data and when the repetitive query comes to the dns server then the dns server responds from the cache now we can check yahoo.com it took 651 millisecond now if we hit yahoo.com again it took only 0 millisecond so it is responding from the cache now if we want to see what are the records on the cache uh, we cannot directly see the cache we have to uh, dump the cache let's dump the cache rndc dump db rndc is remote name daemon control dump db is the parameter cache now we have to go to the var named the data here the cache underscore dump dot db we can grip yahoo.com from the cache dump db these are the yahoo records and grip google.com so we ran only two query for yahoo.com and google.com now if we try to retrieve anything let's say abc.com still we didn't run any query for the abc.com so now if we run the query for the abc.com again we need to dump the cache then grab abc.com here we found a record now if you want to run the yahoo.com query again it should respond from the cache it took only zero millisecond now if we flash the cache and we hit the dig yahoo.com again then it should query again the yahoo.com now it is taking longer time now if we run again dig yahoo.com 
it should respond from the cache again if we flash the cache then it will take longer time definitely here you see 1962 millisecond so this is the dns cache function dns always responds to repetitive query from the cache hope you understand the caching behavior of the dns server